Hello, welcome to the Citrus Garden. My name is Christina. This is a reading for Gemini sun signs or if you just have Gemini anywhere in your chart and you're wanting to work with and balance masculine energies within yourself, then this reading is for you. Um, Gemini, I've already pulled your cards. Let's just get started. Um, we're starting with the bottom of the deck energy and the first one out is this growth plants, which is so interesting. Um, and then this harmony card, which I always see is sort of like balancing stones. So what, what this growth plants is coming through with today is that, that scene in Lord of the Rings, if you're familiar with Lord of the Rings, um, where Pippin and Mary, the two hobbits, are trying to convince this giant tree, tree structure, if you're familiar with like the Ents, to like take action or go to war so i'm seeing this as being like like a giant which just means like something that's not really within your control gemini there are circumstances that are almost like outside of your control and it's almost like you're waiting for the opportunity to take action right because it's kind of like i feel like you gemini have like a very strong purpose to move towards something or to do something but it's almost like you're feeling like like a hobbit trying to like having to hold still with this harmony card in order to just like wait to see what the outcome will be is kind of how this this uh combination of cards is feeling like and then with the tarot you have here the strength card which i'm seeing is you um and then the queen of materials right this is that sort of like circumstances outside of your control it could be feeling like a blockage of some sort or just like non-movement it's like you're trying to get past this um with the eight of cups right trying to move past whatever this blockage is in order to reach this state the queen of inspiration or actually i'm seeing this as being like you are sort of moving t closer to your goal and i feel like there may be somebody in your environment who may be playing this role of the queen of inspiration is like giving you sort of the insight or just like key piece of information in order for you to move forward is kind of how this is feeling so we're going to start with the current energy with the comfort hearth card so this is kind of how i was feeling like almost like making the best of the situation i i live in in the toronto area and we're sort of getting ready for this huge winter storm that's about to come through, right? A big sort of circumstance that's outside of our control. And so sort of just like hunkering down with your loved ones and getting cozy is kind of how this is feeling um, for you, Gemini. And you have here the strength card again. And so this is just confirming or, or emphasizing this whole idea of like wanting to move or do something or like just like, perhaps it's just like seeking some sort of like new inspiration but there's this blockage right it's like kind of like like you can't move until whatever this this deliberation or this event has cleared or passed is kind of how that's feeling and this is also looking like the eight of cups right because i feel like there's something look at that there's something that gemini i feel like you're wanting to almost like move away from because it's kind of like you're you're hunk you're hunkering down but there's some other influence perhaps in your environment that you're wanting to sort of release or like let go is kind of how how it's feeling because you have here the seven of inspiration which talks about like having to like create strong boundaries between yourself and sort of others perhaps um, or it could just be like just a, a, a general sort of heaviness kind of feeling with the strength card. And the thing about strength, right? The fact that it's coming out twice is that it does feel like sort of a challenging situation because you only use your strength when, when something's challenging, right? If something's easy, then you don't need to be in so much of this, like the strength energy. Um, and then the next card out you have here is the eight of materials which today was coming through is almost like looking like yo-yos, right? Or like if you have like like spider webs on your hands, like trying to fling it away, trying to fling it away. But every time you like throw away the yo-yo, it just comes right back. So there's some energy here of like trying to 
maintain like a strong focus or to like push back against some sort of energy that is like stubbornly not moving, right? It's kind of like with like the, the whole story of like the ants, the tree beard. Um, <laughs> it's such a big energy is kind of how it's feeling. Like trying to, trying to persuade the ants to go to war but you, you are feeling kind of like a small hobbit in comparison to this giant, like a David and Goliath kind of energy, which is so interesting. Um, it's like you're, you're using all of your power in order to get something to move is kind of how it's feeling. And then here with the Adams card, Adams building, and then the soul passion, which is so interesting. Because this Adam's building card, I always see is like gathering information. Today was actually sort of like going on like an adventure or like or like a treasure hunt is kind of how this was feeling. I was talking like a couple weeks ago, I was watching the National Treasure movies. So this is kind of how it's feeling with like the soul passion of being. This is like your 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 passion or something that you're really wanting to go towards. It could be like actually traveling though, because today I was looking at this world, the world in the eye, wanting to see the world, or I feel like, I feel like there's also this message here of like seeing the world differently. I feel like there's some sort of aspect here where you're seeing the world differently and that's almost like wanting you to move in a different direction is kind of how this is feeling, right? It's like <laughs> just so much Lord of the Rings. Um, imagery coming up here, right? Like it's like once the two hobbits, even though they're like small, I'm going to put that in quotations, um, didn't have that much power in order to, to like makes a big difference in, in like the war, for instance, right? Like the, there's, for example, um, but it's like once they saw that what was happening in their world, it's like they couldn't ignore it, right? That it's something that you can't, ignore is what this is talking about that you're wanting to move in a direction because some aspect of of your soul or your passion or your purpose has been activated and it's like you can't ignore it and you you need to go in that direction but but there's a blockage of some sort so what what but what's coming out next though which is really lovely is you have the emperor so it came out next to this eight of material. So this is kind of like the energy of like trying to fling away some sort of unwanted energy, but it keeps coming back. And then here with this emperor, I'm seeing this as actually being able to move in the direction that you want to is kind of how this is feeling. For some reason, this was feeling like, um, like a music recording studio for some reason. It's kind of like, you know how when you go into the studio, not that I've ever been in one, but just like from watching movies and stuff like that, go into the music studio and it's almost like blocked off from sound, right? Like block, like a, like a, like almost like a sensory deprivation. But for some reason I'm seeing this as music. There's some sort of like, like perhaps just having like a, like some sort of spiritual, or sensational experience where all of the sort of outside influences that you don't want are blocked away from you, right? Cause it's kind of like the whole idea with the music studio is just coming through with like, you can't hear the things that are on the other side unless you're wearing like the headphones, that kind of thing. Where it's kind of like just being in your energy, in your own energy and also pursuing something that ignites your soul is kind of how this is coming through. Okay. Um, and I do feel like there will be a moment if you're not sort of in that now of like freeing yourself from the blockage with this forgiveness card, it came out next to the strength card, which is emphasizing that like you're feeling like there's like a block on top of your head that's preventing you from moving. What, what else was coming through with this is like balancing books on your head, right? Having to maintain sort of this state of calm or peace, especially with the harmony, so that, well, perhaps it's also coming through with like, you have a lot of responsibilities, right? So you can't 
necessarily make a move or else this entire sort of structure will fall or something like that, right? It's like you're, you're not, it's not that there is a blockage per se, but it's more so like you can't move because it will threaten or like the this structure, your surroundings will be um, jeopardized in some way because it's like you're the foundation, right? Like you're with the comfort hearth card with the with the baby and the pet. I see this as like the ones that you're responsible for, right? You can't make a move because you're you have responsibilities that that depend on you in some way. Um, but with this forgiveness card, again, I don't think this is is linked to the um, like the your loved ones or anything like that. It's more more so talking about like with the the hands. If you notice, she's like throwing away rocks, right? It's like finally getting rid of that yo-yo energy. So it's like you throw something away and it doesn't come back is basically like there will be that kind of point. And also just sort of talking about leaping over any sort of obstacle, going to the next step, that kind of thing. I feel like you are in that energy as well or moving towards that at least if you're not feeling that yet. And then you have here the star and the page of inspiration, which is so lovely because the star is talking about, because I, I, just in comparison to this eight of materials, right? Where it's like trying to fling away energies that you don't want, which is just talking about like, I feel like a lot of your energy or focus has been on keeping out unwanted energies, right? But in comparison to the star, it's like now your hands are free in order to hold on to the star energy, which is absolutely something that you want, right? Moving towards um, the thing that you want, your soul's passion, whatever that is. And then here with the page of inspiration is talking about all of this sort of like freedom to create and explore. I always see this as a very sort of like joyful exploration or learning process, right? It's like you're learning, but, or like exploring or creating things, um, but having sort of like a really good time. It's just, it's like being in sort of the flow state. Um, okay, so that's your current energy, which is lovely. And then we're gonna move on to what is something that you need to know, Gemini. So this movement speed card came out, which is so interesting. I was thinking about time um, before I started your reading. I kept just thinking about time and I had a feeling this card would come out. So it was coming through the message of um, the idea that like speed is a combination of the distance you want to travel and how much time it takes, right? So there is that element of time as well. Um, but it's coming through with like, again, something that you need to know is that being aware of the roads or the paths or the vehicles, the methods of transportation that you are choosing Gemini. Because here with the speed, what you have next is the groundedness gravity card, which is interesting because I was getting this message of like, um, for example, I, I live in the Toronto area, not not downtown, but in the area. Um, but downtown Toronto is notorious for having terrible traffic, right? So I think there was one day where people in their cars driving were stuck in traffic for two hours along a road that would normally take seven minutes for a person to walk, which means that... <laughs> even though they were in sort of a vehicle of transportation that has the potential to move very fast, um, depending on like the traffic conditions or the road that you take, the path that you travel on, it may end up actually taking more time than if you took a slower method of transportation. That's what this message is coming through with. So I feel like Gemini for you, it's almost like coming through is like not a warning, but just like a consideration of like, if you are prioritizing speed, right? Like getting somewhere faster, that may actually end up taking a longer time in the long run is kind of how it's feeling, right? Cause it, it may be that like, there's a lot of traffic or a lot of other conditions outside of your control. And so the message with this is like, it's kind of like, especially if you're in, a, in like an energy of like frustration, 
because you're wanting to move quickly towards this new thing, choosing a faster, like getting there faster is, is not like that shouldn't be the priority. I hope that makes sense because what, what I'm seeing here next or like another idea that was coming through with this is like when I was in teacher's college, um, I had classes in the morning and then I had like work after that in the afternoons. And so I would like after class, I would walk like 15 minutes towards the place that I worked. Um, and then I had a classmate who was who saw me sort of walking towards work um, and he had a motorcycle and he offered or like it was like an electric bike or something like that I can't remember um, so he offered me a ride like a ride to work right like he was going in that direct direction he was like I'll take you to work it'll be faster but for me it's like I actually enjoyed the walk so I didn't want to accept the ride and also he was a person that I didn't like hanging out with so for me it was like a very clear option to not accept the ride I feel like for you Gemini there may be sort of a circumstance here where it's like there may be an opportunity for you to almost like catch a ride with somebody in order to get towards your goal faster but there may be sort of an area here of like not doing that or like that may actually slow you down more um than doing something that's kind of like more enjoyable do you know what i mean like i feel like there may be an instance here where you're sacri or like not sacrificing where you're prioritizing speed over actual like enjoyment is kind of how this is coming through as i was saying with like the movement speed versus the the gravity this inner balance came out. So I feel like all of this sort of inner balance energy or being balanced um, because I, f I, I feel that like, especially if you're like moving out of a place of like having to maintain stillness for a really long time, the energy of like wanting to go fast is absolutely sort of a natural um, progression to that. It's kind of coming through this energy now of like, if you've been like starving for a really long time um <laughs> to take it slow once you start or if you're if you've been like fasting right it doesn't have to be starving if you've been fasting your your first meal should be like a small one to just get your your stomach accustomed to eating again right so maybe that kind of thing where it's like you don't want to you don't want to run before you walk is kind of um the energy that's coming through here and i feel like especially if you're having any concern about like which direction to take or what the first step would be um it's coming through with this energy the ace of emotions and the sun which is absolutely gorgeous um it's talking about the ace of emotions i always see as being like coming up for air of like having this sort of like freedom moment um but it's also today coming up with just like the feeling of love or enjoyment especially because it's coming out with the sun today which talks about that sort of clarity presence of mind doing things that you love and enjoying it like for example with that story of the classmate who offered me a ride um it was kind of like talking about the the idea of like there may be multiple options right like there's multiple ways that you can go it's kind of like just taking the scenic route doing the thing like taking the path that would be most enjoyable to you regardless of what like kind of ignoring the speed factor because it was coming through the, all this idea of like if you if you're enjoying yourself the speed doesn't matter right like the timing of it doesn't matter um the like time moves more quickly or at least has that feeling when you are enjoying yourself and so ignore sort of the aspect of speed of I have to get there quickly and rather focus on enjoyment because that is sort of a factor in how fast the time appears to go is kind of how it, it's coming through today and I feel like as well there's also also this message of like even if you sort of are stuck in traffic I feel like there's almost like a reason for that because you have here the greatness card which is talking about um like i always see this as another person sort of coming in i'm seeing you as this peacock energy which today is kind of coming through is like 
um, like, you know, celebrities when they're like on the red carpet sometimes have huge dresses uh, with like long trains that sort of like drag along the carpet where it's kind of like talking about part of your speed, perhaps your movement forward has been sort of dragged down by um, perhaps like your, the, like your surroundings or, or like the things that you're carrying, right? Your responsibilities and things like that. Like you can't, your speed is impeded by your dress, what you're wearing metaphorically. Um, but that could be for a reason, right? There may be sort of this reasoning behind that or, um, almost like a serendipitous moment that's going to happen with this greatness card. I see someone actually like meeting you where you are because especially if you're like sort of stuck not moving or like feeling like you can't move there's this energy here it's like almost like somebody's meant to meet you here is kind of how this is feeling so it could be that like there's um like there is just like a serendipitous moment that's happening okay and then we have here the wildness electricity card which is, which is talking about like, instead of focusing on how fast you're moving or like getting there faster, it's talking about actually enjoying the process of getting there, right? Because time is, time is like gravity. It's a, it's a force that we are absolutely not in control of. It's absolutely going to affect our movement forward. And it's like, why try to fight against gravity, right? You can't fight against gravity. You can't fight against time as well in the same way. And so it's kind of just like working with what you have or doing things that actually make time, time passing by enjoyable. Okay, so we also have here the Knight of Emotions, which is a really interesting card. I feel like this is talking about the other person coming in, right? So even if it's like, even if you are in sort of this energy of, of staying still, right? Perhaps not moving or like, because I see this sun as being like, well, it's enjoyment. So even if, if it is like you're moving slowly or you're not feeling like you can move quickly, there is some sort of energy or opportunity or some sort of serendipitous moment that is approaching for you. That is like you're in the right place is kind of how it's coming through. Okay, I'm actually going to leave it there, Gemini, because I'm going to move to the extended. Um, the link for that is in the description box below. We're going to continue on with like this area of focus and where's an area of growth for you. I do have other videos if you're interested in checking those out. Thank you so much for sharing your energy with me and I hope you have a great day. Bye.